welcome to my channel in this video I will show you this grim theme I have made for Kira 521 I will show you the main parameters to handle for the color of different elements now the first thing to do I go to program files. I open Ultimaker Cura 521. I open the folder share, then Cura, then resources, and now I go to the folder themes. Here we have the four themes that can with Cura. We have Cura Dark, Cura Dark Color Bind, Cura Light, and Cura Light Color Bind. I copy one of the folders, for example, I copy the folder Cura Light. I paste it here. Okay, now I rename the folder. For example, I will call Nash Green. I open the folder I've just created. Now you open the file theme.gsln with a text editor. It is better to open it as administrator. So I click on it and I click edit with notepad. Now after opening the file, you go to the metadata section here. This is where you put the name of the theme. It is the name that will appear here in the in the configuration window here that's the name that appears here once you have done that now you can begin changing the colors you can start with the base colors here in this section for example here we have the main backgrounds background one background two background three and background four now if you want to know what each background corresponds to, you just can change the color and save the file. Then you open Cura and you'll see the different elements that we affected by the change. For example, here I will just put red to 55, 0, 0, 255. That's red. I save the file and I open Cura. Okay, as you can see, all these areas in red correspond to the background one. These are the areas, the different areas that will be affected when you change the background one. Now let's move to the second background. Background two, I so put it in red, I save the file, I open Cura again. Okay, this is what background 2 refers to. You have these different elements as well as these buttons when they are hovered. Also here you have the background 2, here you have background 2 and so on. Now let's look at background 3. I restore the color here and then I change the background 3 in red. I save the file. I open Cura again. This is what background 3 corresponds to. That is the active button here in the, in the toolbar. Also, this button went hovered. You have background three, this button here, and so on. Now, let's look at background four. I restore the color for background three. And I change background four to red. I save the file. I open Cura again. As you see, this is what background 4 
corresponds to. Now let's restore the color. Now after sharing the four backgrounds, now you can move to the different elements here. You have all these elements here you can change. Here we have, for example, the borders, you have the text, we have main background, secondary buttons, main window, etc. For example, this one here, expandable call, expandable over. Let's see what is correspond to. We're going to put it in red. We save the file. Open Cura again. As you can see, expandable hover correspond to these buttons when they are hovered. Let's, uh, okay, let's restore the color, the ground tool. This one icon, for example, let's see what is correspond to. I put it in red. I save the file, I open Cura. As you can see, it corresponds to the color of the icons here. Also the folder here, you have the icons here also. But also here in this uh, left toolbar. Okay, they are all these icons become red when I change that parameter. In fact, we can play with the different parameters by changing the colors and, and opening Cura again to test it and so on. Now in some cases, there is no parameter in the, uh, in the file here. There is no parameter you can change to handle the colors. For example, for this text here, other printers, you will not find any parameter in the GS, in the theme file to handle it. So, to solve the issue, the solution is very simple. You go to program files, you have to make a Cura, share, you go to Cura, you open the folder resources and then the folder QML. Here we have all the .QML files. Now what I did is I copied all the QML files here, all those files here in the different folders, etc. I copied all those files in one single folder. Now I open the folder. Here I have all the QML files. Here we can, see, as you can see, we have 161 files. Now I select all the files and I click Edit with Notepad. Okay, all the files are open. Now I hit Control F to open the search tools. I type in other printers. That is the text as it is in the in Cura. I check these two options, much whole word only and much cases. Now I click on find all in all open documents. Now in the search results here, I can see that the text is in the file machine selector list.qml. Now I go back to program files, where to make a Cura share, Cura, resources, and QML. Now I look for my file, machine selector list.qml. After searching, I find it in the folder print selector here. Here it is, machine selector list.qml. 
Now I open this file with my text editor. And then I search for other printers again. Find next. Okay, here it is. Now, when I look here, just below the text, I can see here it is written color, UM, theme, get color, text medium. This is the name of the parameter that should be modified in the theme.gson file. Now, I open the file here. I look for text medium. As you can see, the text can't be found in this file. In this file, now what I can do, I go in the base color section. Okay, I can put it here, and then I tap in quotation marks text medium quotation marks it should be written the same way as it appears in the in the file in the QML file it is key key sensitive now I add a colon here square bracket and then here I put the color I want for example if I put red here 255 0 0 255 this is red I close the square brackets and then I end with a comma I save the file and now I open Kira again Okay, as you can see, the color red is applied to this text here. Okay, let's go back. Now I'm going to change it to yellow. That is 255, 255, 0. I save the file. I open Kira again. I click here as you can see it's now yellow so now I have in my theme file a parameter I can use to change the color of this text anytime I want okay let's add the file for this button also there is no parameter for the hover in the theme dot and file Now, to solve that issue, I did the same thing. I opened all the files and I looked for the text slice. Now, in the results here, we see that the text is in the file slice process widget dot gml. So what I do, I go to the KML folder, now the file slash process widget is in the folder action panel here, I open it, I open the file with my text editor. Now I search for slice. Here it is here. Here it is. Here there is no parameter that, that handles the color of the text or, or of the button when it, it is hovered and so on. Now what I can do, I place the cursor here and I add the line over color 
colon um dot theme dot get color parenthesis quotation mark I type in slice button hover quotation marks I close the parenthesis this is the name I will use in my theme.json file to handle the color of this button when hover you can use any name you want but it's better to use a descriptive name now I can save this file I go back to my theme file I go in the base color I can put the characters here and now I type in quotation mark slice underscore button underscore hover quotation marks colon and then I put the color I want here I will put red uh, for example just to show you 255 0 0 255 square bracket I close the square brackets and then comma now I save the file and I open again Cura we add a file here okay as you can see now when the mouse is over the button it turns red it turns red let's change it again let's put for example yellow we save the file we open Cura we add the file here we select and then here as you can see when hover it becomes yellow so here also we have another parameter we can use to handle the color of this button word when hover okay as you can see you can change almost all the colors in Cura if you don't find the corresponding parameter in the file theme.json you can go through the QML files and identify the uh, parameter that is used now if there is no parameter in the QML files you just can create a parameter in the corresponding QML, QML file you come back to the theme file and you add the, another parameter corresponding to the one you created in the QML file and you are good to go but if you want to customize the board screen also you can watch my video about that the link is in the description I've also put a link to download all the KML files in the same folder it made the search easier for you so you can play around with the different elements to find out the color that suits you so this is all for this uh, green theme if the video is helpful to you please like it and share it subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for further videos thank you very much for watching